today. From Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. This is Madden Football. As we'll see Case Keenum and the Buffalo Bills taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. The NFL is on EA Sports as we bring you a look inside Highmark Stadium here at Orchard Park, New York. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. And the only kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. The man in charge for this crew, the 6'1 quarterback from the University of Houston, it's the veteran Case Keenum. Singletary to get the drive started. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards, the pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. His throw incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. Check 26, check 26. Here we go. On play action, it's Keenum. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. Throwing his key on third down. And Davis with it left side. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. You thought you had the defensive stand. Roughing the passer wipes it out. What does every defense talk about? Three and out, right? Thought they were able to get off the field. Not so. Keenan's throw here, taken in by Knox. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Nice idea, nice concept there. Line him up on the left side of the formation. Let him sneak his way across. Coming back underneath. Put it in his hands. Let him get a few more yards after the catch, too. Great way to utilize a tight end on the drag route. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slam. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he stopped immediately there. Kyle Duggar up to make the tackle. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and 10. Again, it's Cook. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. And not much on that run, Charles. 
No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defensive column. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. Here we go now on first and goal. And now they'll throw with Keenum. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Juwan Bentley. And the Patriots are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. So out comes his offense to take over for the first time. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Every quarterback in the NFL has a little bit of his own signature style out there, but for this guy, he really plays the game in a different way. It's led to a couple double takes from us up here as we see him as something truly unique. It's not that he's just the strongest passer or the best athlete to ever play the position. He just has a certain way of seeing the action and it allows him to make some special plays out there. On second and ten, Jones. They give him ten that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third and in inches, and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. Jones throw taken in by Evans here. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Jones will sneak it. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Officially no gain on the sneak. Kind of a wasted play there. And now it's third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Now this is Kelsey, a tight end carry. And he's going to have a Patriots first down. His good running gets him to about the 44. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Now Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. But normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 30-yard line. Throwing Jones. And this one is incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? They'll run it. This is from Andre Stevenson. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. That goes as a game of 11 and a Patriot first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal.
First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Keenan Allen, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. So really a nice drive there for the first points of the game. And how about the fact that it was a run by the wide receiver that got him into the end zone, Brandon? You know, these guys, we know they're not afraid to open up the playbook. And they showed it to us right there on the first drive. Full connects on the extra point, And it's now a 7-0 game. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And a nine-yard run on the end of it. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Now Keenum maybe with a free play. He will find Davis. That's complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math, they did it well, and it works for them. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. <laughs> to throw is Keenum. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. To throw on second and ten. Keenum. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. Keenum now to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's McKenzie. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 25-yard line. On play action, now Keenum. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Devin McCourty picks it off. And the Pats are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. Beautiful read there by the safety. It's zone coverage, so he's just going to sit back and watch. He knows he can't get beat deep because he has the end line to protect him. So he can react to everything in front of him, and he makes a great break on the football and comes down with the interception. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. Short completion, just four yards at its second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 40 yards 
rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Back to throw. Jones. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. They have pressure coming, and they got him once again. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. He had to figure they'd take a shot downfield on third and long, so the old cliche came into mind right away for me. Who wants it more? You always hear about receivers, you hear about their hands, their moves, their speed. How about the positioning and the desire to go get that one out of the air? Stevenson now on first and 10. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, it's a nice running right there. That's what got them the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense. Diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Jones going to throw on third and goal. This is caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And Folk's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Keenum's throw going to be caught by McKenzie. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Keenum. This ball complete to the tight end, Sweeney. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like he'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. From midfield, here's Keenum. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. From the 45 on second down, Keenum. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 26. 19 yards the pick up there. Move the chains. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, 
Their job is to go ahead and get And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And the Patriots are going to get the football here at their own 23. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you've thrown this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Now Jones on first and 10. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. The tackle is made by Micah Hyde. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Stevenson gets it again on second down. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. New England on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and four. Looking to throw. Jones. And this is Parker complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 14. A gain of 22. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. And yeah, the Patriots are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. A give to the tight end, Kelsey. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Travis Kelsey taking it in from two yards out. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. The defense is doing their best, but they're struggling right now. They'll look for some help from their own offense to keep them in the game. for the extra point is Folk. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And here come the Bills. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. I had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I, we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Only needing two yards on second down. Now it's Keenum. He's got the connection over the middle of the digs. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now a play fake, and it's Keenum.
Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's McKenzie. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 30. Again, it's Keenum. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw is Keno. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Keenum to throw. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. So on fourth down, out is Tyler Bass in the Buffalo field goal unit. The kick by Bass is good. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to three. So that stems the tide just a little, but this still a two touchdown game. And I think that maybe that was a bit of a calming drive for this offense, and that's exactly what they needed. They were able to move the ball. They did some good things. It's still the second quarter. Plenty of time to go. Offense gets set to go, and there's Ramondre Stevenson. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. And that is incomplete. And a lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Completes it to Aguilar. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. We're all still valiantly searching for the so-called book, right, that tells us what to do in every situation. Everyone kind of knows what it says, but it's never really been written down anywhere. He violated every code on that one, didn't he? <laughs> Deciding to go for it right there. Oh, yeah, your side of the field, this stage of the game, you're supposed to punt the football. He said, who cares? I'm going to light the book on fire. Yeah, analytics, everyone else, be warned, he's coming for you. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 42-yard line. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. It'll be a gain of two. And speaking of twos, it'll take us to the two-minute warning. From the 41, Jones. He'll get this underneath to Stevenson. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 29-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Here's Jones throwing on first down over the middle. It's incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. 
But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Oh, and fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get to him. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Tremaine Evans, the linebacker. And the Bills are going to have it here just past the 25. So they get the INT. Now here's Keenum. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slant. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Looking to throw on third and two, Keenum. It's going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Patriots take over. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And throw right side complete to Parker. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Second down and three. Back to throw. Jones. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Jones now on first down and caught by Henry. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, just a 32-yard attempt. And Folks' kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time. We'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Solid return. Position. They'll start at the 32. And the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. 
And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. 81 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. First throw now for the backup, Allen. It's caught by Aguilar. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. On second down, it's Stevenson. On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. Allen off the play fake. There's Henry to make a nice catch. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. That is one heck of a catch right there. Got his eye on it the whole way. And able to make the grab one-handed. Very nicely done. And for a nice chunk of yardage, too. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of the mouth. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. And he'll be stopped just outside the five and six. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Folk's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Keenum. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Keenum, and he can't bring it in. Incomplete, he dropped it on the crossing route. Fourth down now. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Play action. Allen. High throw, but the catch is made. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards that time. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Here's Allen. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 34-yard line. 
It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Allen's throw here taken in by Parker. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 18. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 123 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Parker's got it for a new England touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are right, you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. punt a return of five and they will take over first and ten Josh Allen leads the offense out for their next possession and he had the touchdown of the last drive also four for four very very effective what does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? not think that what he saw in coverage his last time is exactly what he's going to get again he's got to play ahead and start and start thinking to himself okay we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play, and you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch, and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Love has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Oh, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. That's interference. Even. So the P.I. declined, and that'll give him a fresh set of downs. And when you scout tight ends, one thing you want to know, just how strong they are. And we saw it in evidence there. He was able to fight through all the contact and still secure the football. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 
Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. Second and 10 now from the 27. On the handoff, Stevenson. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Looking for Kelsey there, but it's intercepted. Tredavious right for the pick. Be blunt, not a whole lot has gone right for this defense in this ball game, but that's something right there still in the third quarter. It would, it would take something around miracle territory for a comeback, but maybe that's a start, Charles. It certainly is, and they're definitely showing that there's some fight still left in them. Hasn't been a banner day, but they're trying their best to put that disappointment behind them and find ways to make plays. Uh, he's trying to protect his quarterback's blind side. Got nabbed for the hole. You have one job over there. Make sure that man does not get hit. So if you have to hold occasionally, do so because they don't catch all of them. This time they did. Right back to Cook for another completion. Looked like a pretty good safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A give up the middle to Singletary. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. From the gun, it's Keenum. This one caught by Davis. So the completion good for just three. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field. He gained any yardage. Well, CD, that helps the home team as they try to erase this deficit, give them the penalty for pass interference on the defense. Yeah, and they certainly haven't been happy with what they've seen so far, have they? They're certainly hoping that that call now might get the fans back into this one. Now a throw here, hauled in, and he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. 
They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Singletary, they'll go up the middle, and he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. The offense on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and six. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Mills. And the Pats are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Again, it's Stevenson. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. 158 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Now a handoff, Stevenson. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Here's Stevenson. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's able to take this up to the 30-yard line. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have run and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. This is Stevenson. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second and five now. Allen. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Throwing is Allen on third. And that is incomplete. CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? 
Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clipped him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Singletary, they'll run for it. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. No dice for Sean McDermott and the offense. And the Patriots take over. They're going to have terrific field position. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop him short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it's... But they practice for this. 49, yo, 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 yo. Yo. <laughs> so they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. And my goodness, another interception. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Yeah, give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Some good, strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got them into the end zone. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra. Now he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Pats add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. McKenzie now from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the interception on the very first play. 
And what that means is for all these guys, it's been a while since they've been out there going full speed. So they've got to get everyone back out there, run a couple of your go-to plays, make sure you get your offense oiled up a little bit. They've got to be able to start fast, but they've got to be efficient as well. Especially the quarterback. Single, single. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. On the slant, he's got Davis. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. To throw, it's Keenum. Finding Knox there, complete. Seven catches for him now in his last one, a first down. Throwing now is Keenum. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's McKenzie. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Now a second down and six. Keenum throwing once more. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And that will come the offense as they take over. New England trying to get a place on offense. This has really just been a lopsided affair. What a performance they put on. And now they get the football back here with a big lead in the fourth quarter. On well, the pass, we might be discussing dinner plans, talking about steak and sushi, whatever the case is, CD. This ball game is pretty much well in the books. Yeah, we really could have started bringing up dinner a long time ago if we wanted to, partner. And I think a few of the guys out in the field already making plans for the evening. And he's up in it after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll run with Strong. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. So Allen's going to look to throw. Going deep here for Parker. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. 49, 49 the mic, 49 the mic. Oh, you got deep? <laughs> to the air, Allen. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. On third down, they go Montgomery. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. Forty yards on the punt, two on the return, and control of the football. Switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't, because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. 
Well, this game, it was well in hand early, never really in doubt. Charles, you and I do so many games together. There's so much parity in the NFL, a lot of close battles. This was not one. Tip your cap to them for a really impressive effort. Yeah, and you know, as the game went on, I think the defense kind of got together and said, you see our guys on offense, they're just just putting up point after point we need to leave our mark somehow too and they did it pitching a second half shutout so that'll do it for my partner charles davis and the best darn crew in the industry i'm brandon god this has been a presentation of the nfl on ea sports with that, we say so long from Buffalo.